Airmen from the 157 Medical Group exchanged search and extraction techniques with the Salvadoran military and civil authorities as part of the ongoing National Guard State Partnership Program. We have been graciously invited by the Salvadoran Army to come share with them our experiences with search and extraction, to share with them our techniques, our operating uh, procedures, and they're going to show us how they operate. The Salvadoran Army has brought with them the Green Cross, their version of the Red Cross, and the Salvadoran Commandos, their civil support team. My part in the training down here is to uh, introduce personal protective equipment. We demonstrated the hazmat training suit and the different gas masks, gloves, helmets, and the different equipment that we wear when we go down into a hazmat environment. We're trying to introduce them to what we do in New Hampshire since we, we're working with them now, New Hampshire and National Guard and Army National Guard with the, the Salvadorian military. Um, give them a little bit of a viewpoint of what we do in New Hampshire as a surf P. Everyone came here ready to play. We all stepped up to the plate, did a great job. We did have some minimal supplies, but we were able to adapt and uh, all the, we were able to adapt all these supplies to each different scenario. It's great to work with the civilian population as well because that's what SURF is about. SURF P is about working with the local entities and working with uh, the Red Cross. Down here it's the Green Cross um, and coming together as one team to get the mission complete. The take back for New Hampshire is that the Salvadoran Army with minimal training and minimal supplies can put such a heart into what they do that if I can share half of that energy while teaching the troops that I lead in New Hampshire will be a far better force. I'm Air Force Technical Sergeant Thomas Johnson, San Salvador, El Salvador.